Hello, everyone. How are we all doing today? Good morning, good evening, whatever time it is for you, wherever you're watching from, or if you're watching in the future. We are going to be doing some more mapping. Last week, we mapped out a cave. Um, this week, we're going to map like an interior of a house. Um, like a mansion is what I said, but it may be more keep-like. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it goes when I get started. I haven't really done anything with it. So let's flip over to our... Now first, I'm going to fix my volume. Is everything sounding good on that side? Hoping it is. Let's flip to our engine. Okay, so like I said, today I'm gonna be working on the inside of a manor of some sort. I don't like the size. Let's make that a little, uh, so I had it like there. Let's do like, I'm probably gonna end up like expanding it as we go. Okay, good, glad we sound fine. Um, I did not do, I, I was in a hurry and I did not do a sound test today. Normally I could record three or four times making sure my sound sounds good. Um, but today I did not have time to do it. So, okay, let's see. First of all, I think the first thing we need to do is create a black void. Cause we're doing an interior. It's like the reason I was like, okay, so I think this actually should be a keep because like some of this has to get into like a uh, lore on the game. So imagine that's eh, not the right one. We'll go with this one. Yeah, that's a good keep wall. So the, the general idea in this game though, I'm not going to use that top. I don't really like that top for it. Uh, let's see what top I can, I just hit my layer button. Let's not do that. Well, let's start with getting some floors in here. Hey, Skepsis and Rexel and Veer Vino. So we're gonna at least need an entrance way. Let's draw an entrance way. Probably gonna still, did I do that in the center? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. And so it needs to be like one. Draw that. Okay, that gives me a area to work with the, the walls. Let's draw some walls around it and figure out what top I want to use. That doesn't really match. I may need to like go with, I'm gonna go with this right now, but I think I'm gonna edit something to do with the tops. Cause I don't really, I've never really liked this for interior. I think for interior it'd look better if um, it just had a border and then went into black. But we'll use this for right now. See, that's what I want it to do. But I don't like the the crenellations. I think the crenellations are unnecessary for an interior. Oh yes, this is going to be the climax. And let's go ahead and just... Boom. That helps. Somewhat, but it won't when we start making other rooms. So this is going to be the the kind of climax of the first uh, dungeon where we start to actually get some information. So one of the things you may notice is that we went from a cave to the inside of a mansion. And that is because this is not like, you can't look at this like you would. Um, and this is without a doubt, partially because I'm, I'm intentionally doing this to make it easier to do a lot of the mapping is that, ah, I'm on the wrong tool, is that the world, the fantasy world we're in is not real in the sense. It's combined memories and stuff like that. 
So one of the advantages, and I'm going to do some different flooring and stuff too. Um, one of the advantages of doing that is I don't have to make uh, like realistic transitions. I'm just going to draw in some shapes here. And then I'm going to worry about... I'm going to start with something like a little... Uh, what's the word for it? Some symmetry, because symmetry is generally good. I think I'm gonna do stairs heading up right here. Oh, I'm still on the, I'm on the wrong tool again. Symmetry is generally good. Human beings generally like symmetry a lot. Anything that's man-made, being symmetrical doesn't hurt. Um, so that. And let's get some stairs here going up. I guess I could use the, yeah, let's use the stairs. I feel like it should be one more. It's just. Hey, Drifty. I'm just, uh, honestly, let's see, honest. Uh, you know, like sometimes you're, uh, not really mentally prepared. Like you're, you're not really there in your headspace to do something creative, but you're going to do it anyway. That's really where I am right now. I'm going to do some, uh, shift clicking on this, but the, one thing about being in that position is that you have like two options, right? When um, that happens, you can either work straight through it and try to see if you can make something anyway, or you can uh, just take a break. And since I'm doing this for work, I don't have that option to just take a break. I'm going to just kind of try to work through it. Um, I know kind of where I'm going with this, this, um, in the original, um, so again, these our main characters are all uh, reincarnations of um, the characters they are. Also, I threw in some uh, of the MV Trinity ones. I may not use any of this, but I thought about it. But uh, they're reincarnations of uh, characters from the past. And I'm going to do some work with these because I want them to be more. Let's do, let's erase that and start again. Put this in the center. So the reincarnations of characters from the past who were the heroes. And this is a location that was important to back then where they had like retreated to when fighting the great darkness thing. Um, and this is a memory of it that they're traveling through. And so, like, some of the things that are going to be here are uh, bits of pieces of lore of the old world in these books. Um, and then upstairs, there's going to be stuff going on that's a lot different. Um, that's going to be more uh, dramatic, where we fight. It's going to be the first boss. So the main villain of the game is trying to resurrect someone very important to them. And let's put like an old organ in this one on the right. I almost, uh, it can't be centered though, because maybe I should make all of this like let's bring it in one and hopefully this doesn't that's still big enough that way i can expand these rooms out one more space and this organ can be centered i like things centered if i can uh Let's just put a single... I'm going to have to change some of this anyway because I'm going to... 
And we're going to have like an open book on the table in here because this is going to be like a little library reading room. Also, another thing I'm going to do is have the books, like the lore books you pick up, are going to go into your inventory. So you can also read them later if you want to go back and be like, oh, what was going on here? But some of it's going to be, like, actually super relevant to what is going on. Some of it, yeah, just, you know, little bits and pieces of interesting things about the world that came before and how magic worked. I feel like I should have some more chairs. But we're just going to put these in. I might look for some more chairs. You know what? It, it, we, I haven't had it since the very beginning. But we're going to bring back our... Uh, our what we need. Fancy chairs. I'm just going to hide this on the other screen for a while until I need it again. Okay. Let's see. Where's some... I know there's some books in here. But let's just put like an open old book on the table. I feel like the table needs to be bigger for that. So let's may need to go bigger with the room again. So let's go doop. I think it needs to be on this top side, so let's E. Yeah, I really like that. I it's like the Skyrim thing, right? And well Elder Scrolls in general, they've been doing it for Oh, I need to fix my shift clicking. The thing is, and this is something I have known for a long time, really you should do most of your shift clicking like at the end. Um, but I always forget to do that. I wanted to keep that uh, kind of stepped look to the front of this, so I'm going to like bring this down. And widen that. <coughs> oh. My, I'm sure you all heard my dog. He is angry about something out front. He wants to tell me about it. Um, so I think we need a hallway here. Let's. Uh, the one problem is, is because I'm doing a. Um, I have a center. This has to be a central hall. I think we can make it like a big central hall, right? And put a doorway through here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this map bigger okay let's see how we want to do oh it's because someone got home that was why my dog was barking at the door nah he was barking at the door because someone was coming in he's he's he he never lets me miss stuff like that so let's oh yeah what was i doing i'm gonna make this map bigger it's gonna have to be bigger to fit a bit more Let's go with, let's go with a square map. Even though a square map is funny because you never ever have anything in square. And let's zoom out a bit to do, again, it's best not to uh, map from this far out, even though I've done it repeatedly in these streams. But it's good for moving a lot of stuff at once. Let's erase all this. And then zoom back to one one. Yeah, yeah, it's missing a roof. Look, Skepsis is just... I, I, I am um, sure that Skepsis is just disembodied eyeballs at this point. Let's do... Uh, let's see. I'm going to do some change up in the floor, because I was going to do it anyway at some point. I, I wanted some different flooring in some areas. But I think this is going to be like... Um, let's pull in 
the edges here. I'm going to put some statues along the sides because this is like some kind of grand hall. Another thing, um, there's going to be some shift clicking, is really your map, it should do this because the edging of your map should be the uh, edging of the carpet should be below this. And again, with the whole thing of my conversation of I should just wait to shift click in the very end. Oh, I did do that, didn't I? You're right. You're right. It should be symmetrical. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and just three this too. Um, this is going to be like a keep area, so maybe a little throne room like a throne room that this leads into though not like a giant one just one big enough for like a border keep or not like a border keep like a because this is up in the mountains um I deal i probably should start drawing with the other flooring in here let's go ahead and flip that floor have a step up in here and then we'll have a step up upstairs there's um one of the things i really like doing and it's um not everyone does it it's kind of specific i think like i know other people do do it but it's very big thing for me is um the interior of a building should make some sense so like in fact, actually, I might go three stories with this and have nothing in the second story in this area. Like, it's opened upwards into the... Like, it's two stories tall. Because, um... Because that feels like it'd be big with open open ceiling and stuff. And then have a third floor over this where we have our actual fight. That also opens up some more areas for, um... Uh, Let's get some areas to walk in these directions too. Um, let's make let's. I've been doing two two across doors, so let's bop that up one so that we can do cross door. That way, let's have have some uh, rooms on either side here. Okay. Does leave not enough room, like you know, not a lot of room statues, but let's throw some in. Hoping for a little more room for them, but I really need to take this one and uh, and flip it horizontally. But I'm just gonna stick it on either side. I'm gonna I'm gonna take and flip that one the other way. For, though it won't work because the shading will be wrong. But I think that's what they did on these anyway, isn't it? Hold on, let me look closer at the map. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I can just, I can just uh, horizontal flip it because that's what it looks like they did on those other ones. The base is not horizontally flipped; just the, uh, everything above that. Which does mean that the shadowing is probably not accurate, but I don't know if people will notice. Okay. Let's see. So let's get some more. Normally your your carpeting isn't um Okay, let's see. Where where's some the right corners? Because I need Huh corner would that be I almost feel like I should just do this I know but no because it's again behind right I do want to make it three wide because I've been doing that with all like it matches the door as I'm going for more of a keep than a uh, than a mansion I know some people think a lot 
about uh, how the building is used. And, uh oh, hold on, let me mute my microphone. I don't think anyone wanted to listen to me sneeze. Um, but anyway, I know like a lot of people would think about like, oh, why is there just a library here and a just music room here? And I'm like, well, yeah. How is this place used? And I'll probably do that a little bit more on the second floor with some like bedrooms and stuff. But I'm not going to put an incredible amount of thought into it. Uh, again, this is not 100% real. So the fact that it's... Uh, representative rather than um something exact means i get a lot of leeway to play around and do odd things that make no sense um which is fun and let's put some more let's see is there another statue that i like better i know i got some statues in this too but i think they're mostly yeah, these are not really accurate for this air area. I feel like we have some other stuff though, decorative that I can put there. Maybe some uh stuff on the walls. Do -do -do. some swords and I think I need glasses y'all I keep having to zoom like move my microphone so I can lean way in so I can see what I'm looking at Yeah, tapestries and paintings is another thing I can go with. Like, I think I'm going to do that in here. Do some wall-hanging tapestries. I kind of, like, wanted the carpet to not be so straight here, but at the same time, like, it looks weird without something sitting here to take that place. And the option there is to move some more, like, statues down here this well not like that because i'm gonna do it again with like again i'm gonna make another flip version of this so it'll be like across and then let's get rid of those up here and let's Again, why I don't like how it does the crenellations. I'm not going to quite use those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I know what you're saying. Let me grab. I think they're in B. Do something like this. Or I could do something like these. I wonder if that would look better. Let's Let's go back. Let's do like... this no i think what i need to do is do some layer stuff so let's go this is layer one layer two i want to get like this and then have it drawn behind the piano like that yeah that was what i was going to try to do And I've lost my shift clicking again because I moved the whole map. I think actually what should be there is like this. Oh, oh man. I I'll tell you, there's just, there are things that I know are coming. And I'm so excited to tell you about. But I can't yet. Cannot yet. 
But expect some exciting things coming soon. Alright, this looks weird, but that's because I haven't, um... I have not yet put rooms over here. Let's let's do some more shapes. Also, I need to put a wall in here. And to keep, so let's do like more like this rather than the big fluffy chair. And let's do a step up. And where is my that? I could have just copied the whole thing. And some shift clicking. Yeah, being able to switch layers is just like, oh man, I was so happy. I was so happy to be able to shift click again. Okay. Oh yeah, I was making shapes on either side. That's what I was doing. Okay. Go back to do squares. Some walls in here. So I think because these are going to be less uh, fancy rooms, I was going to put a kitchen on one side, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the other side, but because they're less fancy, I'm going to make them. Um, one style rooms instead of or one, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Just have uh one so that I get a little more interesting shape. And actually, I think maybe the shape would be more interesting if I put it like. Oof, I'm on the wrong tool again. This. Just the thing, like, it's, which one do I want to be more interesting, right? Here or in here? Because it's more interesting in here for it not to be against the wall. But it's more interesting... Ah, never mind. I, I think that's good. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I know what I need. First, let's do some of these boys up here. But hold on, let's do it like here, here, and then let's get Go to our event layer. Flame. Oh, do we not have any? Um, I was certain that somewhere in here we would have like uh, I'm trying to think of what they're called. my brain um abrasures uh, that's the word i'm looking for i'm almost certain someone has oh here we go this is what i was looking for i was like i know that these are in here
Yeah, I've seen a lot of the edits like that, which are usually useful. I don't think it'll be useful for this game just because uh, it won't matter much. But all right, so let's go with like a kitchen over here on the left. Um, and since this is like sort of medieval-y, we can go with. Is there not on the interior one? Like, this is something that, like, I know I put in a lot of medieval interior stuff is a well. Because that would be a thing that would be in a medieval interior and not just an exterior. I know there is the well from the exterior set. So, I'll grab that at some point. But let's do the rest of a kitchen area. I'm gonna grab this entirely. I'm gonna do a lot of uh, adjusting these things in Photoshop to sit against the walls better. Is that like a, oh, that's like a wood stovey thing. That looks good. Some tables and stuff like that put some stuff on the walls there is no good way to do with these it's really difficult to make it look like I want it to look until I edit this to sit against the wall properly but we work with what we have right now and then I need to adjust it later so let me what I need to do, pull my sheet back over. Tiles to adjust. Um, kitchen counters. I also want to bring those shell uh, wall shelves down. So the same distance from the top of these counters, but not like so high up on the wall. And bookshelves. And we'll throw this back over here. Like to me, a lot of mapping really is uh, an automatic again. Okay. A lot of, of mapping is like just blocking things in and then trying to make something work and then figuring out what you need to change, what you need differently or what you need new. All right, let's put some chairs around those. Here we can use the non-fancy chair. So I really need like a bench. Like in a bench wouldn't be hard to make. It would just be extending this to connect into each other and also tiles to adjust position tiles to franken bench um, size color i also want to try to match the color of the table i'm using And let's see some other stuff that should be in here. Let's grab some fruits and like some stuff that they're making. And what's that? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Where's our crates? I know there's some crates somewhere. Maybe that's in B. I'm not entirely happy with that, but probably because I don't like that the color is all matching. Hold on. That's not food. Wait, is that clams? Sure, let's go with clams. It makes total sense for 
a there, there we go that's better i was trying to uh find stuff that would make sense as this is in the mountains i don't think clams are what would be in the box and back up All right, so I kind of want to adjust that too so it overlaps a little bit. I'm having thoughts about how to do all of this a little differently. Like maybe... Okay. And then let's get... Let's just erase all of it. And go from scratch. So let's get a big box, stack those next to it. And where is that basket? It was in C. And I have that basket of like these, and let's put them on top of that. That's better. I think. Actually, hold on. Eh. The problem is, is you can't tell that it's on top of something. Even though it is. So let's go with like that. And let's move all of this up one and then put that basket of carrots here at the bottom. That looks better. Eh, I'm getting angry at myself again. I feel like I feel like these need to be moved up a little bit so that they overlap properly. So let's adjust position. Carrot box. I'm sure I'm gonna remember what that means. Uh, was there some more wall shelf stuff that I think would look good in the kitchen? I know there's some more hangy stuff that goes in a kitchen wall. I seem to remember that. Yeah. Pots and pans. Okay. We can put a little bit of food on the table. Oh. Oh. Nope. Is all of this positioned? Yeah, it's positioned so that you need to do a two wide. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make these tables bigger, I think. The problem with making the tables bigger is... I, I no longer have the same room. I could drop one higher. I wanted to put two tables in here, but I think I'm going to have to just go with one, which is fine because I wanted to do like a well right over, over somewhere too. So let's drop this table down to there. And then we'll have a place to put like a well here. Drop it one more. Yeah, the food is designed to go on tables a little differently. Like, see, it works great if you have this. I could do some adjusties on the t on the food too. I think I'm gonna have to. Let's do let's write down adjusties on food. Food. Okay. Kind of feel like these. Let's do some more edities. So let's put the statues. They were on C, weren't they? Yeah. Let's put the statues up here as well. I'm going to 
bring this wall out a little bit. I'm going to put uh, the banner things. Okay, where'd they go? There they go. Lost them. Okay. I was thinking over here. Let's go. Which does mean I need to do some. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Good. I was like, uh oh. Did I did I make a mistake? I was concerned. I'm gonna do a little chapel area. This area here. I think I saw some benches in one of the um in one of the MV Trinity packs. I think it was intended to do benches in like a um I am having word problems today. It was intended I think to do benches in Put the book under there too. Uh, in a like steampunk uh, train, I think. But the benches are really good. All right, let's grab some more carpeting to do this section because I think this would have carpeting to go underneath. We're just gonna do like this. And let's do statues. Where's the other? Here's the statue. Let's do some alcoves. I like alcoves. Do this, and then it goes up. Have this do a steppy. Okay, this is going to take a second for my brain to function. We're going to do this. And then we're gonna have a step up. This does mess with my symmetry, but I think it'll be fine. Not how this goes. Uh, and let's just do this, then that was wrong. That's not right. That's sort of right. Mm. I think it may be better to do the alcoves a little different. Let's go. Let's can do some control Zing. I do think I was right to go do this. Even though that literally makes no sense. Let's put her in the middle. Cross there. And let's... Do some flames. Wait, not what I wanted to do. Why did I even hit that button? Alright. You know what I think it's time for? It's time for seeing what this actually looks like in the game. Let's start party position player. See what it looks like. And again, I'm using a temporary tile set, so I can, of course, walk on everything. And I'm not sure I like that. I think I'm going to do that. I need to put the those on the very outside. My problem is, is it's hard to say, see how the little alcoving thing works if I don't have visible flooring, but it doesn't look good with the visible flooring. 
So all this other area I'm pretty happy with. I still need like the well in here. Um, little changes there, little changes here for spacing. I almost feel like this also needs to have them further out. Maybe have them here and here. Or have them on the outside. I could pull in this one more step. I think I'm going to do that. All right, so thoughts I had. Bring this in one more step. Um, this needs to be remapped entirely. Let's get rid of these. I really wanted that step up alcove. I just think it looks good. But I am struggling with how to make it look right. Is different from looking. Okay. I think. I think I was on the right track, actually. I think it's like this. And then let's put. And let's put some temp. My biggest issue while mapping is stopping to edit tiles while they don't work how I want them to. Here's the thing. That's why you map like me and you just throw stuff down and you go, yeah, that's not right. But I can fix it later. Let's get all the rough shapes in right now. And then worry about everything being right later and then you have a full list of all the things you need to edit um and then you can forget to do it for you know the next century and move on to other things that um so seeing again it needs benches i'm pretty sure i have benches somewhere else though um do we have any different style of hangy walls? I kind of want these in a different color in here, but that'll work. I kind of feel like it'd be cool to have like, I don't know. If you do too many different colors, it stops being cohesive. Like right now, this is all cohesive because I'm using mostly the same colors throughout. Let me just, and control, Let's just, Grab our carpet. Okay. Does that look right? I know it's supposed to, like it's away from the wall, so it needs to be, this is the one situation where it actually needs to be cut off right there. And now it doesn't look right. But it is kind of how it would be because it would be of one space down here and it's all one tile away from the wall. It's always an interesting um, like thing because your perspective in this like pseudo top down is always going to be a little a little odd. I I, I need to redo that. So there's always like compromises between what something would actually look like and what it does look like. You know what, maybe, uh, oh, I, got a, I got a cool idea. Oh, yeah, it's hard to do the step up. I was like, I would need to have to find somebody to do a border. Like, if it, like, went around like this. I'm trying to think of something to do with this empty space. Because it is empty space. And there's empty space in here. So, piano room. What should be in the piano room? I 
is another situation where I feel like there should be benches or fancy chairs. We do not have those right now in our current set. We'll have to find them. Off stream because no one wants me to go look through. I guess these are technically fancier chairs. I'll put some kind of like ta tabling down here. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. I have to do some shift clicking. So let's. Is there a place I can draw? Also, I'm not sure I like that. Uh, the thing I'm going to do is do this. And then. Well, that was dumb. Um, there we go. Doesn't look right. I was wrong. I was wrong. Let's get rid of that. As soon as I figure out what layer I need to be on this one. Don't like it. Let's just back these up one. Oh, I guess the person playing needs also needs a stool. All right, all right, all right. So this is pretty roughed in. Let's give the, oh, I think you should definitely need some more of these banners up here. All right, this is good and roughed in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you my secret for, uh, we're doing multi-floor buildings. So we're going to start with the exact thing. Yeah, person playing is the crappy still. It actually looks more like a p like out piano stools I'm used to. All right, so. Let's go across here. But this means I get the same shapes. And as I said, I was gonna just have this be blacked out completely in the second floor. I can go ahead and do that. But like one of the things that I'm really big on when I do stuff is for things to fit together. Like interiors and exteriors don't because what happens with interiors and exteriors is that, um, oh, I have a really cool idea. I wonder if I can make it look right. I wonder if I can make it look right. We're going to see. So, first of all, let's get rid of all this stuff and just get it down to floors. Let's get rid of this extra. Get rid of all the events. I actually had one uh, map that I had done that I really liked uh, that I did a long time ago, and it was a dungeon map. And you could only see the section you were in at any point. And if you took all of, <coughs> if you took all the different pieces, they all fit together perfectly. I'm gonna get rid of all the, just, What I kind of want to do is this main hallway area, right? 
I want it to be visible from the top. Now I'll show you what I mean. Uh, and I may need to do come back and redraw some of this from the other piece. So this is going to be closed off. And we're going to go across right here and just black out. But I want to do like it comes up and let's go ahead and just... I like how my brain is trying to think of how to explain what I want to do and then I get halfway through it and then just stop talking to you guys. So here is the idea. The idea is this comes up and then this is open down to the floor below and to the little uh, area up here, which I may redraw some redraw it to. And that right here, there is a walkway across so that you can still see down into here from the walkway that goes across. That's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and just black in everything. Let's do some carpeting. And then I'm going to redraw what I want to be visible afterwards. So we need some of this floor here. I think we're actually going to need it on both sides. Like, it's going to be like this. And then we need that railing. Okay, this actually needs to... Hmm. <laughs> This railing needs to be a little bit different. Let's go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to draw underneath this to do what I'm trying to do. It's again the problem of like uh, what it is going to look like worth versus what it should look like. Because this railing on this side, this goes directly up to it on this side. If I do it over here, it's going to go under it. I don't want it to go under it, but I think that's my only real option. It's not super visible that that's what it's doing, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't look bad. Um, I think one more step down this way. Let's cut down here. Okay, this makes it a little more challenging. I gotta think of how to do this part where it's vis where the below is visible. Okay, so this Where is that coming across? So this spot and this spot are the same. It means what's visible should be, visible starts at the here. Oh, that's not as, as fancy as I was wanting, but let's see how it looks. That's wrong, let's take that. I think shadowing. That's what I need. I need shadowing. There. Now, now it's obvious that that's two different levels, right? And maybe another. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I had to stretch for a second. Um. And that's cross right here so it's one one two three 
make sure I put it in the right place. One, two, three. That is exactly in the same place. And I might as well just go all the way to the bottom, right? Like that. Like, I like that whole thing of, like, stepping, like, the way it looks like you're going over something. I kind of almost want to try to make it visible. Can I? I don't think I can make it visible from down here and be really good, but I, I, I like that. Now let's make some of this area visible from up here. So what we're going to need to do, this needs to come down one. And we're going to have to draw under this. So that's one, two, two above there. And it's like, is it, is it this part right here is where we're starting? Like, the, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we need to redraw the. And if I remember correctly about how shadows draw, I should be able to do shadow. Maybe. Okay, I can. Okay, so the one thing I need to do though is change how the wall do. Like this wall needs to go up higher because this is lower. So this wall needs to go like two more up. Oh man, I'm loving this so much. It looks so good. I know that's just me being like super excited about, you know, I think instead of like trying to do the inside of this room though, I might do like a big doorway or something. Like for right now, I'm just going to do like that and I'm going to fix this later. I need to do a big, a big dory. Um, I think there's, wait, is there a big door somewhere? A big door opening? Hold on, I think that should be going back to the first map. Yeah, some shift clicking will help. That shift clicking will, you know. I'm not sure if that second line of shadow needs to be there. I think I need to take that out, like that one. But I do think we need a shadow down. Of course, I do shadows down the sides of my walls always. I need to do that downstairs too. It is one of those things that like it doesn't do automatically, but I always have done shadows like that. Uh, also, because of the direction it does shadows. Ah! My mouse slipped. Like, because of where it does shadows, sometimes I move, you can need to move stuff down a layer because it draws between layer two and three. So I'd probably need, I probably need to move that down to layer two. Let's go down to floor and draw on our wall shadows. Ah, no, oh, make shadows, not erase shadows. Ah, 
I'm just awful with a mouse today. I'm just gonna stare. I, that's so good. Like, it's everything I wanted it to be. And I'm so surprised that I made it look so good. Where did I, I shadowed a wall top? That's not surprising. Way on the left. On which map? I'm not seeing where you're talking about. I didn't do it there. I didn't do it there. I need to figure out how to make this not look as weird. Okay, upper level. Oh, man. Thank you. I don't know how I missed that. I think I was looking like I looking up here because I was thinking I did it when I went up. All right, so now what we're going to do, like, let's see. This is going to be like bedrooms and stuff. So I think what I need to do Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, one thing I need to do, I think, is I'm going to do this. Switch to the not is do that. And then do some shift clicking to get this off. Uh, no, I don't know. Do I like that better? Isn't this coming out of the wall there? That wall should be a little taller. Actually, I should. You should go up to. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need to shift click all of this up here. Like this should actually be like. That was dumb. Um, uh, and it should go straight across right here. I don't really have any bottoms. There we go. Shadow tool back out. Come on, stop erasing me. Crap. Railing again. Still on my shadow tool. Grab my railing again. I think it needs. I know what it needs. I know what it needs. And then some shift clicking and some. Uh, and some shadows. It needed depth. That's what it needed. We're not going to think about how this all goes to uh, together. Because technically this would need to be one higher to go over. Um, we won't talk about that. Uh, okay. Now I can focus on some other stuff. All right, let's make some hallways. I want to do two wide hallways. Uh, so let's drop this wall one side. Uh, 
I'm so happy about that, guys. I it's it looks so much better than I expected it to when I put it together, when I thought about it. Um I may actually uh do editing on this too. Make another one that's a little bit in so that it can sit in right here. But it's fine if I don't. So I'm gonna pop out hallway here. I put some more wall. Since these are more minor rooms and again the one bit. You know another thing I really like doing? Um, is doing over um, like doing the tops of doors like doing ceiling extras over the doors where you walk under them um, but and there will be a way to do that very soon and I'm just super excited about it it's hard to explain um, I can't I can't spoil um, some updates but you guys are gonna like it Hmm. So these these rooms are a little uh, a little weird, right? I don't know if that's like I don't know if you would get a room that shape. But you know what would be really cool? So I'm gonna bring these rooms in, and I'm gonna make a exit to the outside here, and I'm gonna have a, a front. Uh, I have a front something. What are they called? Uh, not a porch. I know these words. And it's going to wrap in a little bit on the building. So what I'm going to do is pull this in like this. Balcony. That was what I was. That was the word I was looking for. it in one as well did I actually pull it in two I did I pulled it in one and then I'm gonna make a balcony that goes across the front and curves in into these areas so to do the balcony I need exits and that would have to be a different map I don't know if I'm going to get to that map today. Honestly, this map has flown better than any of the other ones. And when I mean flow, like as in not flown as in the past tense of flying, but flown as in like, I just have the flow with this map. Something about it. All right. So I think that needs this. Or maybe it doesn't. I just need to do some shift quickie. Oh, and then this needs to be just flat across. All right, so what next? What should I do next? I mean, I guess I should put things in the rooms. Oh, I need shadows. I should just remember that I need to do shadows last and not try to do them as I do things. There's a lot of stuff like that. Like shift clicking is also like that where you don't need to do it as you do because as you edit other things, that said, I'm going to do some more shift clicking. This should go. This. 
this should be here. I like how I say you shouldn't be doing X as you go, but then do it because I, I have no self-control. Hello, Koopo Teppo. How you doing, man? Are you having a good day? I hope you are. I'm having a good day. You know what? I know what would make this look better. I know what would make this look better. Shadow. Also, honestly, it kind of needs, I think, I think, I think it needs this. No, that doesn't look right either. Maybe when I put the shadow in, it'll look right. Eh. I don't like it. I don't like how I did the top of the stairs. The shadow looks good, but I feel like it needs something else here. But we'll. I will concern myself with all of that later. Oh, that's my old other map from last week. Oh, put some shadows under the bridge? That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. But I think it's, like, properly lit, right? Like, there's probably lighting down here. In fact, I probably should just... It's, again, a thing of, like... Um, what makes sense or and what it would actually do doesn't necessarily look the same. Well, the problem is, is like, I don't, if I put the wall in, like, right, it needs to be right here. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. You're right that the wall would fit if I brought it up. Remember when I was having this conversation earlier about... Okay. Now... This needs to be fixed now. As I small into the room. But well, that can be fixed. And then let's do some shadow. Wait, crap. That's not what I should... I should have done this first. Oh, the shadows are staying. Good. So now my my beastie area looks wrong. I, oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do with that too. It's fine. It's all fine. Let me also make sure. All right, that's fine because you can't see it. Where I changed this down here. I can move this over one. The whole thing, just up and over one. So like, do. That and and then we'll just fix the rest of this. A lot of fixing, but that's fine. It will all be fine. And I just need to move those events because they're.
My shadows are all in the wrong place, but that's fine too. I can redraw those. Oh, yeah, I need to move those now. And the... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to make this work. I agree it makes it look better. What we're going to do is we're going to take all of this, jump it up a square, which means I also need to jump it up a square down there. And... Sears... And then we pull this in one. Which means that up here, this is all one back. This was moved back. Let's grab all this. Move it back one. Now let's go to layers and do some. This is all coming out looking better though. So, all good. So, what layer am I? Layer one. So, this needs to be like. Um, that, delete that. Shift clicking now. More shadow fixing, but that's fine. All right. And I need to put Yeah, that's all matching now. And that looks better. I mean, to make it look perfect. I know exactly what to do to make it look perfect. We're going to make it look perfect. And then we're gonna do, so that means this goes in one more. Hello, Poca, Poca Latte. Do you like lattes? Do you, do you poke many of them? I will admit, I've never been a huge fan of, of uh, coffee drinks in general. So let me look up here. Make sure I got... So it goes up one and then it, it goes out. And let's get some shadowing in um i could or i could just uh i do not think i have one on the interior I may look for one. I think one of the other problems there's I know exactly what's going on is that doing this here should actually be it's complicated, right? Because 
if this is visible, uh, I'm sorry. Um, perspective wise, if this is visible, this ceiling should be like way higher and you should be able to walk behind it. It's so hard to make this look entirely right. Oh, yeah. Live stream. I do this every Wednesday. Um, usually with the same amount of panic as I try to figure out how to make things look right. You know what? I'm just going to stop trying to make that look completely right right now and work on some other stuff. And then I'm going to uh, bug a lot of the people I know um, who are way better at this than me um, to tell me what I'm doing wrong to make it look good. All right, let's, let's focus on some bedrooms. All right, what's in a bedroom? You have like, the dressers and drawers and stuff. Those are in bedrooms. Again, I need to do some, like... I have this really, like... And I'm probably, like I said, it's, again, the whole thing of just blocking in. That I'm probably going to... Not... Alright, where's my text file? Things that need to be adjusted. Beds. Um, cabinets, are... with region restrictions. Yeah, yeah, I can do. A, there's actually a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be so excited. I actually may do mapping again next week because i have to show you some really cool stuff but i can't show it yet it's like one feature I, that i really wanted and it's gonna change a lot of the way people map uh, though i don't think it would make it do like the visible from the bot like but there's a lot of things that i can, can change and almost all of my maps are going to have to have some work done just for this one feature to work right. Okay, let's put a little table and... And again, because I'm just blocking in and this is not um, me doing finalized stuff. It's all going to be pretty symmetrical. It's fine. Maybe like do a little bit of variation and a few things like... Let's put, oh crap. I need to do like the other type of table. Let's, let's do one of these boys and I can do it down here and then shift click. Should be this actually. Shift click that, put it there. The one thing is, is that I'm like, I don't really want to do mapping again. I wanted to work on some other stuff, but like, I may just do a little bit to show off something and then immediately after that go to doing, um, you know what? Let's do, nope, nope. That was wrong too. Flower centerpiece. I'm going to do, um, a writing implement on one and do the flower centerpiece on the other. Like when one person is over here doing his his writing and the flap. Maybe you don't even have a stool on that one. No. All right. I erased the table. Oh yeah, I, I erased that kind of table. I went with a different type of table. Okay. 
I really wish there was a good like fantasy writing desk. I'm almost certain there it may be in like MV Trinity in like the steampunky section. It feels like there should be like a writing desk or something. It is, is that what I want to do? Is it though? I do want to use these more fancy lad beds. This one's going to be messy. Again, need to fix some more beds. Nope, it's too big. It was smaller, it might fit better. My, but this bedroom is not very big. You know what I... <laughs> I'm going to do this, first of all. Let's see, how much, how, how far down did that go? One, two, three. I'm thinking it was three. I'm going to like, I don't know why I'm shift clicking. There's no reason to shift click on that. That's one too many. All right, now let's go back that's not it should be like this there is one thing that i will never be accused of it's a lack of attention to detail. Man, I have like a yeah. I I have like an idea, and it's one of those ideas that's like I could do this whole map to where it was almost like seamless. And it would be so cool. Because I could technically draw like the rest of this down here, right? If it was open. There's nothing stopping me from doing this. Tag all of this. That's this section here. Oh, oh what did I do? Okay, let's grab from here. this section let's go ahead and and let's get rid of some shadows Is there a way to do a seamless transition? Does anyone know? Like, I feel like, because... I 
because the transfer uh, yeah it's like the transfer event doesn't have fade none if i do a none let's go here let's just all right so i just need to select my space i'm gonna do the top stair and transfer and the transfer for the top stair is going to be here or it should be on the top stair again mm. okay so how i need to do this okay okay i got it i got it i got it because you need to go to the same place basically Cancel, let's start over. So going from the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna do a no fade. Um, I, I, I like never look to see if that has an option, but no fade, no, no, um, no sound effect. Really means I don't have to do it with a transfer, but. Edit. Okay. So, no sound effect. Designate with variables. No. Okay, so the event is here, which means. Oh man, my brain. I'm. My brain is like not having it. So, what it needs to do is when you're on the lower level. The problem is it's going to have to jump you up one square, right? There's so much weirdness to it. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. It's going to be a little weird, but uh, it still would be better than what I was thinking. All right. First of all, let's cancel all of this and delete this one. All right. So that way we can do it on the top of the stairs event creation transfer and it's just going to be the exact same place or on the next floor edit i get rid of this we're gonna edit get rid of the fade then we're gonna have a new uh set movement route player just have them one step forward and then copy i know i'm going to need to change location edit edit just here Add it. That one's to here. It's to here. Copy. Paste this one. This one needs to go. match these up all right let's see how that works Oh, oh, 
How cool is that? I love it. I'm so enamored with it. It's so lovely. It looks so good. Like it just. Oh. Oh, this gives me so many ideas. Like you can do. Uh, you can do interiors to houses like this too. Without the transition. Like um, how they do in. Um. You know, you know how they do in like old Dragon Quest where it just shows like a roof over a thing and you can just like go into a house and it just pops the roof off. Like you could easily do that. Bye, yeah, bye. Got it right. It's an I. Again, I my passability is not set right. I'm so I'm so happy. I am so happy with this, guys. That is so cool. Um, you know, you know a thing I forgot though. I forgot something. Um, I forgot we were going to have a third floor here. So we may be getting rid of, or maybe maybe you go out on the balcony and like going up to the third floor is from the balcony. There we go. We're going to do that. That that's the plan. Like, I know this is not the most exciting thing to see on stream, but I'm just so, so excited about that working, right? And I'm so excited about how I actually matched up all of the, like, look how I matched up all of the downstairs and upstairs and stuff. I actually got it perfect. Um, what I do, I do need to do, I, need, I see a change I need to make, though. On the upper floor, this wall right here needs to go up it's so good you know what it's like 15 till um and i don't think i can top that for for a happy ending to my 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 day um so i think that might be where we stop for today because if i go any further i'm probably just going to make myself sad so let us do our wrap up so like eh, here's some things i need to do um, you know, I'm just gonna write some notes down. Oh, I had to move my microphone a second to type. So, notes on map. Balcony. Third floor. Entrance from balcony. And we're gonna save that. Do it on my other screen because I know that sometimes I have made mistakes. I'm pulled up and I know everyone will look at the names of files that I have. And there may be files in there we don't want any. And then we're going to head to the, get open the bumper. All right, everyone, thank you for watching tonight. Um, I had a really good time on this one, much better than I thought I did. Remember how I said at the beginning of the stream that I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this today. Today, I'm like, just, I'm not with it. 
But what I made, I think, actually came out really cool, especially that walk up. And just working through it sometimes is the right, right answer, right? Sometimes you just you don't think you have have it in you, and all you need to do is sit down and work on it. And if you work on it, maybe something will come out that's really good, like like what I made. I thought was really really good. Um, so if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, if you are watching on our Steam, because this is streamed on our Steam page as well, uh, you can follow the link in the, hold on, I will drop it. You can follow the link down here in at the bottom of the screen. That will give you uh, the, this video um, so that uh, you can watch and join the chat because I do not have Steam chat open. I can only follow one chat at a time, so I've been following the YouTube one because that's the one we link. And I will see everyone next week. We're going to do a little bit of mapping at the beginning, uh, then some eventing. We may actually only do mapping because I, I the eventing I want to work on um, is the climax of this uh, dungeon. And so I have to finish this map before I can do that. But I might try to finish this map before then anyway. So either way, we'll do some stuff next week. Everyone have fun. Everyone work on their game. Get a, get Get going on, you know finishing your projects too and i hope you all had a good time uh, excited for me to announce everything and i will talk to you all later